Hi folks, I'm Raz and in today's video I'm going to share with you Anand's Academic Writing Task 1 Overview and Practice. So let's take a look at the two different tasks. Task 1 is Report Writing Academic, 150 to 180 words in 20 minutes time. And on the other hand, Task 2 is Essay for both Academic General, 250 to 80 words in 40 minutes. So friends, in this video I'm going to discuss Task 1 Report Writing for Academic. Now let's take a look at the task assessments. 25% is for task achievement. You need to answer everything you're asked to do in the question. The other 25% is coherence and cohesion. Use structured paragraphs and make standard expressions. The other 25% is lexical resource. Make wide range of vocabulary. And the last is the grammar range and accuracy, which is 25%. Make sure you include different kinds of sentences ranging from simple, compound, and complex. Now let's take a look at the task one, report writing, 20 minutes, 150, 180 words, academic. All in all, you should be segregating four different paragraphs. Paragraph one is an introduction. Paragraph two is overview. Paragraph three is make analysis and group comparisons of different years. And paragraph four is make analysis and group comparisons of the remaining years. And so let's take a look at the types of the graphs that can range from a bar graph, a line chart, a table, a pie chart, a flow chart. So describe facts and figures through bar graphs, describe trends through line graphs, comparison through tables and pie charts, describe process diagram or a map, and describe a flow chart. Now let's take a look at the graph one. You should spend about 20 minutes on this task. The bar chart shows financial distribution between organizations in different sectors. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Write at least 150 words. Let's take a look at the sample answer that can help you score a good band. Now this is a bar graph. You can take a look at the x-axis. We have different organizations and on the y-axis we have billion euros. So the bar chart details funding to four sectors by organization A to E in a given time period. What stands out most is that overall expenditure is highest for organization B. In particular, staff training and research are outliers compared to the other organizations, while organizations D and E were much lower in overall funding, and A and C were in the middle. There were varying trends for all organizations, though building tended to be near the top for most of them. Looking first of all at the funding for organizations A and B, machinery received 1 billion euros and just under a billion euros respectively, while building was the most funded for organization A and 0 0.1 billion euros lower for B, trailing staff training 1.9 billion euros and research 1.6 billion euros, Organization A invested less in both years, areas with 1.2 million euros for training and 1.1 billion euros for research. In contrast, the numbers for organizations C, D, and E were much inferior with machinery at 1.1 billion euros for C, 0.9 billion euros for D and 0.8 billion euros for E. All three organizations invested equally in building, while staff training was between 0.7 and 0.9 billion euros for all groups. Howbeat, research showed more divergent numbers with organization C contributing 1.3 billion euros, organization D 0.6 billion euros, and organization E 0.7 billion euros. Let's take a look at the graph two now. You should spend about 20 minutes on this task. The table below gives information about the value of exports of kiwi fruit from New Zealand to five countries between 2010 and 12. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Write at least 150 words. 
Let's take a look at a sample answer. Now here we have different countries and different years. In the given table organizes the export value of kiwis sent from New Zealand to five other countries in 2010, 11, and 12. The most striking feature of the graph is the overall numbers for Japan, which accelerated the most and were topmost overall by far. Both China and Russia skyrocketed their imports and were second and fourth, respectively, while Mexico and Saudi Arabia's export value declined, with Saudi Arabia importing the least by a significant margin. Looking first at the countries that hiked, Japan led the way going from 271-100000 in 2010 to 287-400,000 before a surge to 325, 300,000 by the end of the period. China showed a similar growth pattern, escalating by approximately $100,000 a year to end at $9,400,000. Russia imported less, starting under a million at 968,000, nearly doubling to 1,585,000 and importing 249,400,000 worth of kiwis by 2012. In contrast, Mexican imports towed at $600,000 before falling by more than half to 2,400,000 and then recovering slightly to 3,300,000, Saudi Arabia fell more steadily and to from 2,900,000 to 1,06 and finally 8,200,000. So thank you so much, friends, for liking my videos. I'm getting a lot of likes on my videos, and thank you for that. So keep watching more IELTS writing videos, and I'll keep updating you with the new questions, the latest exam questions coming up. Thank you so much for listening to me.